Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here. So the time has arrived. Forza Horizon 5's Hot Wheels expansion is here for those who have purchased the add-on. And yes, I was fortunate enough to get my hands on the Hot Wheels DLC early. So a huge shout out to the developers over at Playground Games and Turn 10 for giving me this opportunity. For all of you wondering, I have been playing the Hot Wheels expansion now for around five days. And to say that it's just a recycled DLC from Horizon 3's Hot Wheels is inaccurate. It has a bigger map, there's more roads or Hot Wheels track, if you will, to drive on. And overall, it is a decent expansion. I'll get into my thoughts and review about the expansion in another video. But in today's video, let's talk about some of the things that I learned from playing the Hot Wheels expansion early. And remember, if you guys do find my videos helpful, please smash the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more Forza Horizon 5 Hot Wheels content, be sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on, as I promise there will be more this week. So, starting with number one, Roll Indicator. So when Playground Games released snippets of the initial Hot Wheels prologue a few weeks back, we got to see the bad to the blade absolutely blitzing through some of the different areas within the Hot Wheels map. And also looking at the heads up display, everything looked to be quite standard. However, once we begin the Hot Wheels prologue ourselves, one new thing you will notice is this little rotating display in the middle of your screen. Now what this is, it's essentially a tool to show your car's rotation while while you are on the Hot Wheels Park since you will be going upside down and inside out very often. Personally for me though, I found it rather distracting and it can be turned off through the settings under the HUD and Gameplay tab for those who don't want it there. Number two, no wheel spins needed anymore. As we know right now, we are still currently in update nine. And of course the theme for this series is Hot Wheels. Now Playground Games introduced five new Hot Wheels cars into the game, which were the two Jet Z, the Nash Metropolitan, Hot Wheels Rip Rod, Mustang, and the F5 Julie. Now two of them, the two Jet Z and the Nash Metropolitan can be obtained through the festival playlist, while the remaining three as of right now can only be obtained through wheel spins, which is a little frustrating as I've seen many people People use up so many of their wheel spins just for the chance to obtain the remaining Hot Wheels cars. Well, don't waste any of your wheel spins anymore as all five of these Hot Wheels cars can be acquired through the Hot Wheels expansion by completing specific chapters from the Hot Wheels story campaign. Number three, what's underneath? Now, one of the things I was extremely curious about was what is beneath the Hot Wheels Park. The developers did say that this was set above the map of Mexico, but I was a little skeptical as to which part of Mexico it was set above. Was it a portion of the Mexico map that we hadn't seen before, or was it the entire Forza Horizon 5 map? Well, it turns out that it is the entire Forza Horizon 5 map. It's easily recognizable, especially with the massive stadium in the middle, and it does look pretty cool. Now you won't be seeing this view very often though, but if you do get a chance, hit up photo mode, especially at night as it does look quite remarkable. It's too bad that we just can't plummet to the main map from the Hot Wheels Park though. Number four, more than just plastic surfaces. So back in Forza Horizon 3's Hot Wheels expansion, in terms of the variety of different Hot Wheels surfaces, it was quite limited. Other than the orange roads with the blue intersections, that was pretty much it. So the surfaces and experience didn't vary from one side of the map to another. However, in Horizon 5's Hot Wheels, there are much more than just the orange plastic roads. There's water slides or flumes, I believe that's what it's called, where essentially a current of water is constantly flowing through it, magnetic roads, these roads stick your car to the track so that when you drive through certain twisty spirals or a massive dip, you won't just go off course. Be careful though, once your car starts losing control here, it's hard to make a recovery. And speaking of hard recovery, the other new Hot Wheels track surface is the glazed ice, where the Hot Wheels track is super slippery and quite a challenge to keep your car controlled. There's probably a couple more, but these were the main ones that stood out to me and will further add to your Hot Wheels experience. 
Number five, Hot Wheels Events Lab. Now, I'm just going to put it straight out to all of you. I'm not an Events Lab creator. I don't use this feature often to create tracks or maps, but I still have some experience with it. Now, of course, with the Hot Wheels expansion, there will also be an exclusive Hot Wheels asset available for players to use. And here are all the new assets. Now, I believe from memory, only players who have the Hot Wheels expansion can access these and can be used on both the Hot Wheels Park and main map of Horizon 5. And for players that do not have the Hot Wheels expansion, you can still access any creation that uses these Hot Wheels assets, but only of course if they were made on the main map. However, you can't use them yourself for your own Events Lab creations. Number six, you can almost drive anywhere. So comparing back to Forza Horizon 3, although technically you can drive anywhere on Thrilltopia, all of the off-roading areas really lead to nowhere. It's just all bushes, and from memory, I don't think there were any races that would actually go off-road. Now, in Horizon 5's Hot Wheels, yes, you can most certainly go off-road, but more importantly, depending on the biome you are in, each section has its own off-road area, which is actually drivable and features things to discover as well. Not only that, there are certain races that are mixed between the Hot Wheels track and the off-roading terrain, and for those that that miss the heavy winter season from Horizon 4, well, there's one side that is dedicated to the surface being coated with snow. This certainly gives the entire Hot Wheels expansion a much more greater dynamic for exploration. Number 7, New Hot Wheels Paint Colours. So for the first time ever, Playground Games have decided to add in new Hot Wheels paint jobs for every car in Horizon 5. These colours are essentially replicas of iconic Hot Wheels paint that have been featured in their toy cars, and now in Horizon 5, you can apply them to your own vehicle. The colours from afar or at a quick glance don't seem to look very special, but it's the tiny details once you get up real close and see the flakes, then you realise, oh yeah, this is pretty cool. I've already Hot Wheels themed a couple of my cars from my garage myself, and hopefully you will too. And lastly, number eight, the Hennessy Venom F5. Here is the big boy that I'm sure all of you are curious about. What are the modifications and how fast can it really go? So doing a quick test on the main highway on Horizon 5, the Venom F5 can reach at just 303 miles per hour, which is actually very strange because when I first unlocked this car and did a top speed run, it reached over 310 miles per hour but for some strange reason, right now, I can't even get close to that speed. I don't know if it has to do with the seasons changing, but I find it very odd that once I started recording my top speed run, I could only achieve this speed, much lower than its actual top speed in real life. With the upgrades in terms of cosmetics, of course, there are only the Forza Aero front bumper and rear wing, and with the conversion, you can only do a drivetrain swap. So essentially, no matter what you equip the Venom F5 with, even if it hits X-Class, there's not a lot or if not any movement for its top speed increasing at all, which is such a shame as I had high hopes for this car being a close contender to the Koenigsegg Yesco. So there we have it guys, 8 things that I learned from playing the Hot Wheels expansion early. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as it really does help me out. And remember, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest Hot Wheels content, please make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on. That way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.